Good morning, dear students. Today I am going to teach you from your main course book, lesson number nine, the Lantern Festival of Thailand. So, let us read the letter written by Rita to her friend Sehar to describe the Lantern Festival of Thailand. So, 8 December 2016, dear Sehar, I was delighted to receive your letter with the news of your family and school. Here I have a great experience to share. Recently I visited Thailand. It was in a month of November and we enjoyed the Lantern Festival. I am writing to you to tell you about this festival. Loi Prathom is held on the full moon of the 12th month in the Thai calendar. This usually falls in November. Loi means to float. Prathom is a raft, about a hand spun in diameter. Traditionally, the raft is made from banana tree trunk. It is decorated with flowers, candles, incense, joss sticks, etc. On a full moon night, people float a small prathong in a river or in canals or any water body. Thai people believe that floating a raft in the river is a way of honoring and paying respect to the goddess of water. It also means offering apologies to the goddess of water for the harm done to the river during the past year. That is why Loi Prothom festival is held at the end of the year. The people of Thailand that floated Prothom brings good luck. They pray to goddess of water, Phra, Mi, Khonkha to wash away the previous misfortunes. On this day, Buddhists in Thailand honor Lord Buddha. They light candles in honor and float them on the Prathong. To the Buddhists, the floating away of the candle raft means letting go of all anger and hatred and starting life afresh. People also cut their fingernails and hair and add them to the raft as a symbol of letting go of the bad parts of oneself. The Thai tradition of Loi Prothom started in Sikhothai but is now celebrated throughout Thailand. The festival in Chiang Mai and Ayutthaya are particularly well known. In the northern part of Thailand, in tradition to creating Prathong, people also celebrate the festival with Khom Loi. People usually create Khom Loi from a thin fabric and let the air let inside so the, so the Khom Loi can go up in the air like a balloon. This festival attracts many tourists. It is a great to see Khom Loi getting up in the air. I really enjoyed being a part of festival. I wish I could attend this festival every year. I also wish you are with me next time I go there. Lots of love, Rita. So this is beautiful lesson about the Lantern Festival of Thailand. Thank you for watching this video.